Crystal Lake. I've been this. You know, this might be the the news that I'm I'm most excited for. Okay, I because we're starving for some Friday content, and uh, you know, this might be uh, what we need, right, guys? This might be what we need. Let's let's see. Let's see. Ooh, Chris, director of Nightcrawler. That's a good one. Yes, Destiny. Starry Eyes is amazing. Matter of fact, I've been planning a revisited for Starry Eyes for the longest time. And uh, by the way, guys, speaking of revisited, just on a whim today, I felt like I wanted to watch Sleepaway Camp 2 again. And after I watched it, I had so much fun because I haven't seen it in a few years. I got up here and I recorded a re- uh, revisited. And it, the, the thoughts just rolled right out of my mouth. And I, I had such a blast. And uh, so... Uh, Sleepaway Camp 2 Revisited, that should be coming this week. And, I'm man, I'm so excited. I, I love reviewing a movie that I get really excited about talking about. So, yeah. All right. So, anyway. Um, Crystal Lake A24's Friday the 13th series likely premiering in 2024. Uh, the Friday the 13th franchise is finally getting set to return on the screen with Crystal Lake, an upcoming prequel television series from A24, Peacock and Brian Fuller, Hannibal, that's uh Hannibal's a great freaking show by the way that's uh miraculously able to use any and all existing elements from the franchise as we recently learned original Friday Final Girl Adrian King will have a recurring role in the series oh shit I don't I if I if I knew that I forgot about it that's that's exciting actually and King has shared two updates via social media in recent days in one post to Twitter King shares a behind-the-scenes photo from her uh, first writer's meeting while a post to Instagram suggests that the series is aiming for a 2024 premiere. Uh, King writes on IG, Happy Friday, campers. Brian Fuller, our bloody, brilliant head counselor, producer of Crystal Lake, the upcoming series, and I had another exciting... Whoa, hold on. (laughs) Amber alert. Did you guys get it too? Uh, you're not in Florida, so yeah. Okay, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, I hope um, I hope they're able to find whoever was lost, though. Yeah. Um. Up. Uh, uh. Let me re- let me reread that. Okay. King writes on IG Instagram. Happy Friday, campers. Brian Fuller, our bloody brilliant head counselor, producer of Crystal Lake, the upcoming series, and I had another exciting meeting, filling me on. What what's in store for us at Camp Blood? Always a joy, and can't wait until I'm able to share some details. King's Instagram post includes the hashtag coming 2024. Now, have they even started shooting this yet? Check out the two updates below and expect more soon. Peacock has given the project straight to series order, with Crystal Lake being described as an expanded prequel to the original Friday the 13th franchise. Uh, Variety has detailed the show will be written by Brian Fuller, who is also the showrunner and executive producer. Victor Miller, Miller, who penned the original film in the franchise, will also executive produce, along with Mark Toberoff, Rob uh, Barsamian, and A24. So, yeah, there's a nice picture for you guys. First writers meeting, Crystal Lake. So they haven't even started shooting yet. I'm going to go ahead and, and make a guess that this ain't coming out in 2024. I would be... I would be shocked if this actually comes out in 2024 because, um, I mean, from what I'm seeing there, and I think I read somewhere earlier too, they have not started shooting yet. And you're doing a whole TV series? And this is February, almost March? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Jesus. that's. I mean, they, they got to be cooking, right? They got to be cooking to get this thing out. Uh, I would assume... That they they're wanting um you know a third or a fourth quarter, twenty twenty four. It would have to be that, right? Maybe they aim for. I I don't see how they could get this out in October. I really don't. Uh, maybe December, maybe December. You know, like Chris says, their winter twenty twenty four. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What if it, like what if it's like uh Chucky? Isn't Chucky like every episode like thirty minutes? Something like that. It could be a situation like that where it's like eight episodes and they're all 30 minutes long. Then maybe they could do it because that would be four hours. That's pretty much like two movies. And uh, still, you haven't even shot yet. And even getting one movie out, boy, that's a task. 
It, it, guys, I'm calling it right now. There's no way this is coming out this year. No, unless, you know, based off what I read, maybe there's something I don't know, you know, but yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Um, I will say I'm open to anything. You know, I, I kind of approach Crystal Lake with that mentality. I like the whole world. I think we've seen so much of Jason that I wouldn't mind them trying something, you know, not trying something different, but telling a, a different part of the story that doesn't always get told, you know, because again, we've been down the Jason road so many times, not saying I don't want Jason in the show. I definitely want Jason in the show, but give me something fresh and new. Um, yeah, I don't dare say the ugly Halloween ends. I don't dare say that, you know, but that's kind of what I liked about Halloween ends is that I've had the same old Michael Myers story so many times, went in with an open mind, ended up having a good time with it. It felt fresh. It felt different. Was it perfect? No, but still. So yeah, it's a prequel. I, and I even said before this was announced, you know, a couple years ago, I would be all for telling Pamela's story. I want to see Pamela's story. So yeah, that might be the reason why this doesn't land for everybody because there's some people, all they want is Jason. You know, they don't want any of that. They've said it. They don't want any of that Pamela stuff. So yeah, it could go either way. It could go either way. But you know, the writing's on the wall, right? It's if if it's good writing, good characters, good acting, all that, then uh, it could be great. It could be great. This one's called uh, Gandalf the Pimp. Gandalf the Pimp. AI. I think this is an AI generated photo because I don't remember this scene in um, in Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. It, maybe it was a deleted scene and where Gandalf went into our world. I don't know, but he became a um, a pimp. And uh, maybe he's in the Philippines there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but man, those AI generated photos. Oh my God, they look so real. It's it's like the best version of Photoshop you could possibly imagine. Um, but you always got to look at the fingers, right? The, the, sometimes they'll add like a, fit, uh, a, a sixth finger. But right there, Gandalf, he's only got five. He's only got five. So yeah, it checks out. It checks out. Okay. But does he arrive precisely when he means to? Okay. All right. Next one. Uh, this one's. This one's. An, any electricians in the house? This one's called ground. Okay. Ground. Um. Uh, my son has been eating electrical cords. What do I do? Uh, ground him until he conducts himself properly. That's a bad joke. I don't even know why I put that. That's a. But yeah, I think the reason I put it in there is because if you look at the top title, that's like a little bonus. Don't know what happened to him. W a t t. Get it? Yeah, I wasted your time. I do apologize, okay? I do apologize. All right. Um, speaking of Madam Web, um, let's look at one of the reviews, okay? Some of these written reviews are, are really great, okay? And uh, I might have to blow that up, okay? Because my I, I started wearing reading glasses because I just, I can't see close up lately. Um, 10 out of 10 um, is, is what I would say if I was clinically insane. Movie was so bad, I wanted to pay for therapy, but since I wasted my life savings on a single box of popcorn, I doubt I'll ever get the help I so desperately need after watching this film. The whole time, I was waiting for someone to pop out of the screen to reveal the movie was actually a social experiment to test how long humans can go under torture. Please consider using your time more effectively and burn down any movie theaters that showcase this monstrosity. I would be eternally grateful uh, with burning passion of hatred a loathsome citizen um do you think he liked it that's a good review it's nice and solid right okay um we were talking about the dangers of craigslist let's go ahead and talk about the dangers of facebook marketplace uh, here we go facebook marketplace all right um waiting for some stranger to arrive because my wife decided to risk my life by buying uh by selling our toaster on Facebook Marketplace for four dollars. Uh, it's funny because it's true. It's my, my wife, man. She will buy shit left and right on Facebook Marketplace, and um, I, I, I've had to wrangle her in and tell her you need to before you say anything, click on the profile and, and check it out, scope it. You know, if that profile looks suspect, 
then you might not want to want to do it, okay? Because man, there's some scams out there. There's some crazy shit, and you could put yourself in heavy danger, heavy danger. All right. So this this is real shit right here, guys. Okay. I, it's it's funny, but it's true. And, and if any of you kind people out there use Facebook Marketplace, all I ask is just double click on the profile, check the profile. If they have two friends and they're from, you know, some um, third world Middle Eastern country or they look like they might be from that, then, um, you know, it might not be the best choice. If they're advertising that they're local, you know, in uh, Florida, you know, or wherever you are. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What's up, guys? You are at the end of the DD Live clip. Uh, what I do is I like to clip these out if I think the, the topic is important or something that's newsworthy. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to watch more, you can you can go over here. You can go over here. Click on one of those. And uh, yeah, in uh, hopefully I can do this for 20 seconds, which I think I did. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.